Hi, it's Daniel Benoit from THD Lab. Uh, we are the people that are making the uh, Tangerine Automation Interface. Uh, just announced uh, last Saturday. Uh, this interface is a solution to replace your uh, SSL 4000, 6000, and 8000 computer. What it does, it basically replaces the computer from this side. You plug your flat cables to it coming out of your SSL, and on the other side, you sorry, you just plug your USB and the power. So we have a unit right now which is working on this small eight-channel frame console. So, as you can see, power USB is connected to a Mac Mini right now, running the system. I'll use, sorry, I'll use the uh, mouse to show you that the device pops out as a uh, simple MIDI uh, interface that has five ports. The first four are for one to four UE channels, each one because, uh, managing eight faders. The fifth one is what we call recall information. Once it's set up, all you need to do is to go into your peripheral. In the, I'm, I'm doing demonstration photos. It will work with any software that is UE compatible. And you say, I have one UE, two UE, three UEs, four, four UEs in the control panel. Once this is set up, like, sorry, I don't have a mouse pad. The port number one, the output, the input is the same. You have enabled the system. If you have a recording session, a Pro Tools session, you open it, you create your tracks, and uh, as soon as uh, it's on, you can control it from the console. I'll show you the faders. So, on the console, we're using the existing status switch as automation mode controllers. You'll see that the LEDs change, which makes the software change at the same time. So, changing the LEDs will change the different modes. There's some quick keys that allows to control directly and copy all the modes easily from simple keystrokes. So F1, I can enable tracks easily, which will correlate to the software. So as soon as I'm uh, ready to record automation, fader moves that are on the console, oops, sorry, <laughs> technical problem, uh, fader move and cuts will be uh, affecting the will be affecting the software here. So if I want to record with my keyboard, uh, I'm mixing. right now I'm mixing and recording. Then if I stop it goes into read mode so you can listen to your mix right away. So that's about it regarding the uh, automation. There's a lot of other features that will be uh, that are available uh, that you can use, but I'll talk about the option. Option one is the drop-in replacement screen. Option two is the total recall. So everything that is readable, all the knobs can be pushed in the software as a MIDI track. The total recall is available as an option and it works uh, directly on the web page or on the HDMI output, which is an option that you will get if you buy, you have two other connectors, server output for the web-based uh, total recall page and here is the HDMI. Everything is uh, tested, it's been working for three months in the studios in Montreal at Victor Studio. Uh, we're tweaking the system, but it's ready uh, to be uh, built, fabricated, and so on. Thank you.